Hey, how's it going everybody? Cub Fan here. Welcome to episode 157 of Cub Fan's Minecraft Let's Play. And guys, I just want to share with you real quick um, a couple things I've been doing in the world um, as sort of like cleanup. I'm uh, just doing some basic stuff, uh, cleaning up some stuff, fixing some things, and doing just generally some little tasks around the world. So the first of, the, of these is to basically take down this old ice farm. Uh, we are currently in a taiga biome, and as such... Um, this biome is no longer a cold biome, even though there's snow on the ground. Um, yeah, it doesn't snow here anymore since the 1.7 update. So yeah, climate change in Minecraft, I guess. Uh, the, the farm itself is still is still functional. You know, see the pistons still come up. The water will still flow in here. Um, yeah, the pistons go up again. But we need to raise it up uh, and move it to a different location. So I'm thinking about building this out where we'll put our witch farm. Uh, so make maybe make like another base out that way and put this there along with some other stuff. But uh, we'll have to see about that. For right now, I'm just going to get rid of it and I'll show you guys some other stuff that I've done uh, real quickly here. And then we'll get on with the crux of the episode. And as for the snowman who was here, uh, we're going to let him roam free. Maybe one day we'll find him in some far off place or around this area. Just wandering around, minding his own business, be just being a snowman. So onto some of the other improvements in the world. Uh, we are putting in some more clay out at the slime block minecart jump intersection. So I'm just mining some stuff here, and then we are putting down some blue stained clay and some prismarine for the floor. I also went ahead and updated the maps around our base. So we got the new colors around our base, so some, some things look a little bit different. The arena looks particularly good now, now that we have the new orange colors for the uh, red uh, red sandstone. Uh, you can see up here in the very corner, and just get up there, up here, yep we have, um, it started to rain outside, we'll have to keep an eye on that. But uh, yep, yeah, see the ice farm is now totally gone from this area. You can also see that uh, whenever I cut down trees, yeah, you can see where the trees were cut down at, because it doesn't snow there anymore. And then down here, we got the jungle hut uh, out by the charge creeper farm. So those are some of the major changes to the map, uh, and also some color changes, as I said. Some other small things I did include updating a couple areas of the world. So if we go down here, for instance, uh, this... Minecart station down here has been in need of decorating for a long time, so I finished the floor. Um, added some decorations, you know, we got some uh, departure times, arrival times, some benches for people to sit on, some bars so they don't fall into the track while it's somebody's on it. Um, and yeah, these are just sort of like, they're not really for anybody or anything. They're just more aesthetic stuff. Uh, and we also have, you know, blue carpets for arrival and departure. And I'm in the process right now of adding um, a big ore gate here, so that whenever we select a line, like like this, so if we select, say, this line, the yeah, the chime will still play, the light will still light up, but we won't need this button to yeah dispense a cart here, which it doesn't do right now because I don't have it connected. Uh, but yeah. That's what we're going to end up doing, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now, actually. So all I'm going to do is basically take the signal from this, um, this NOR latch here, this RS NOR latch, and, uh, yeah, we'll invert it here, and then whenever one of these is lit up, that means that at least one line has been selected, uh, and then, yeah, we'll just have this signal run to the dispenser right here. And then that will power uh, both the dispenser and it'll go through again and power the piston right here to launch you out. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so let me show you what we did here. Uh, we're just back in the back of the uh, minecart station here, as you can tell. And so if we come on down here, you can see now we have all the, the ore latch array done. Uh, it's really straightforward, very, very simple. Uh, everything just connects up to this central line here. There's a repeater here to make sure we get the signal from the farthest lines. And then it comes through a slight delay here and goes up and yeah, activates everything in the proper order. So, let's come over this way. Let's put this back in place as we did before. 
and set that to max delay. Is that on max delay? Yeah, it's on max delay. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's try, say, going to the jungle line here, for instance. So we come over here, hop in, and we're off. And yeah, we go down the appropriate line and everything. And then we'll come back this way. Turn around, go up. Turn down the sound because for some reason they're still really loud. There we go. And then we'll come down, around this way, and automatically get ejected. The cart goes up and we should see it come back down right there it is. Okay, fantastic. So yeah, I think this is working now. Um, so now, um, yeah, I'll just show you out here at the mob farm if we hit this. Yep, so it is indeed working. Takes us down the right way. Okay, I'll show you out here at the mob farm. We made a slight change as well. Uh, there's a couple other changes, slight changes that I uh, probably haven't mentioned. But yeah, up here we changed where our minecart goes. So it actually goes to the appropriate level now. As you'll see here. So we have it going over here, and then we can, you know, bail out or whatever here. And we're up here at the mob farm now. Sweet. Okay, everyone, and we're going to do another mob battle today. Uh, since a lot of you seem to like that last time. I'm going to change this guy's eyes back. Hopefully we get this one right this time. Maybe. Nope, that's Hero Brian Cub. I'm out. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, um... Let's go and start this battle here. So, uh, somebody had the brilliant idea of drinking an invisibility potion so the mobs can't see us, or so that the zombies can't see us uh, last time. So here is the battle we are going to have today. So let me see. Oh, I already have the book on me. So today, we will have nine zombies pitted against seven golems. Um, yeah, the zombies have been dominating recently, so... We'll see if this uh, seven columns, I think, should be enough to take care of the uh, the zombies. But you never know. The zombies have been surprising us and winning in dramatic fashion recently. So here we go. Uh, three, two, one, begin. So let's see what we got here. And yeah, they shouldn't uh, see us because we are invisible. I did leave a gate open down there, but yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is a good battle here. Oh man, golems have it maybe? Looks like one golem is down. And the zombies are done. Five golems remain. Wow. Five or six. No, six golems. So one golem did go down. But uh, yeah, that was an awesome battle. Okay, so let's record this down in the battle log. Golems won with six golems remaining. Man, these battles, I mean, I'm telling you. There are some big variations in these. Six golems remaining. Done. All right. Wow. That was uh, that was impressive. Let's see if I can hit him with the bow. Take him out. Take all these guys out. Might be able to. Nope. They survived. So they have they have quite a bit of health left. Man. We should try nine on. Says. Five. Nine on five next time, I think. Yeah, these guys still have tons of health left. Wow. How did one of them go down? It must have been gotten must have gotten ganged up on. Let's just take out a few of these remaining guys. And so, let's get down here. We're going to go ahead, change the scoreboard. We need a two for the golems. Still two guys left, wow. Boom, boom. That should take care of him, I think. I hope. Nope. Wow. Dang. There we go. That one's down. That guy should be going down soon, I hope. This guy's like an immortal. There we go. He's down. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. Golems won, so let's hit this button. Hopefully this will work. Uh, Golems win. Dun, 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 dun. Firework, and there we go. The beacons have turned red for the first time, so the golems have won. Let's hop over here. I really like these golem banners that we made. And we'll switch this one to a two. So the golems 
getting closer now. Three wins for the Zombies, two wins for the Golems, and we're still tied at one to one. Fantastic. So, after that Golem win, we're going to go ahead and collect all of the armor and things, and we'll head back to the house and see what else we're going to do this episode. Okay, so we are now back at the house uh, from the arena. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little mob battle there. But uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to um, do the main projects of the episode. So uh, I just want to mention real quick here, I did do a couple other smaller projects that I didn't really show. Uh, for instance, I moved some of the stuff uh, that I collected with the old mob farm to the base. So for instance, we got almost a double chest of arrows. Got a bunch of rotten flesh, and there's a bunch more somewhere else. Um, I also moved uh, some stuff from this chest. I moved it over to our stable over here. So if we can teleport over here, like that. Uh, I'll show you here. We got yeah all of our horse armor in here. All of our saddles in there. And speaking of horses, uh, if we come over this way, we're going to do a little project today that will greatly help in our horse testing. Uh, by the way, we have flowers here now on this bridge. Makes it look a little bit nicer. So, over here, we have the horse testing facility. Um, if you don't know, this measures horse speed right here. Um, and this measures the jump height. I'm pretty happy with the speed test. Uh, let me show you how this works. This is pretty cool. So back here, we have some lamps. Uh, these lamps uh, basically represent how fast the horse is. They go from 4.5 to 15 meters per second over here. So for instance, the player runs at 5.5 meters per second while in a sprint. So let me just show you this. It works with a tripwire here, which starts it, and then, yep. However far you get in a certain amount of time, that's what it displays. So we should see this says 5.5 meters per second. Yep, all right. So that's how it works, and then you just simply hit that button to reset. So I like this, I like this uh, speed testing area. We have to put some villagers back in the stands, by the way. Uh, but this jump facility <laughs> is kind of basic. Um, it works in testing horses, maximum jump height in half blocks, but you can actually do a lot better than that with snow layers. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to uh, use snow layers to get um, the horse jump height down to, I think it's the eighth of a block or it might be sixteenth of a block but we're going to tear this down and put a new uh, jump test facility in uh, we have to sort of determine where we want that I'm thinking about putting it over there maybe or maybe maybe even over here in this swamp perhaps that might that, yeah, that might work although I'd like it to be close to this we'll have to think about it um, reason being is because we are going to do some stuff over here this episode as well um, if you recall there is Sort of an unsightly area over here from way, way early in the world. Right here. So this is a spider farm. There's a spider spawner directly underneath of this. Uh, I don't have any blocks here, but trust me, there is one underneath here. It still does work, um, but I like to cover this area up and put something on top here. Oh, there's that. There's a ladder down here. Ha! Yeah, okay. Yeah, so here's the, uh, the spider farm. The original one I built in the world. Um, and yeah, all the spiders come up here and you just slam through this gap here. But, um, yeah, you can turn on the lights and prevent spawning as well. But I want to put something on top of this, and it's going to be, um, sort of a dynamic world element. Um, I'm hoping to build, like, a giant spider here, and then have, like, tanks on this side shooting fireworks at it, and there'll be, like, a random chance for that to happen. Uh, based on where some villagers are uh, over here and we're gonna build a desert village right here um, I'm hoping to put down the well today make it like a smart well and then maybe add another balloon or two out here because uh, as I said I want to make a like some zeppelins uh, some of you have suggested like a UFO out here and we want to get started on that project so it should be should be pretty cool um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Uh, the Zeppelin and balloons. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and, I guess, put those in after we put down the well and the spider. And we'll have to figure out the horse jump height thing, too. So, 
yep might as well go ahead and get started on that so I'll be back once I have the materials and I'm ready to start to build by the way I've been using the teleporter a little bit to travel back and forth between some uh, far-flung areas of the world I uh, just have to carry two glass uh, stained glass panes with me wherever I go and yeah it's been working really really well so I've been really happy with it and so let me just show you how easy it is to use the teleporter from anywhere uh, which I've been doing over the last couple of, uh, of days here um, so we're currently out at minus 5,000, minus 500, uh, X and Z. Uh, so basically all you have to do, place this down, look at it, and hopefully... Yep, there we go. <laughs> Worked perfectly, like a charm. Let me turn this off. And we are at 157, 232. So yeah, we got a whole bunch of clay, and we can use that in a horse farm now. Uh, I really need to put a bridge over here, I think. But yeah, that works really, really, really well. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to basically have the jumping testing area behind that speed test there. So we're going to come over this way, and I think the ideal spot for this is about here. So we'll have like a series of jump tests here. Uh, probably going all the way out to about, about right here. I think that would be good. I thought about having it in the swamp biome, but I'd rather have it in the desert here because uh, we're going to have more desert stuff out there eventually. So as far as the level goes, I think we'll have it on this level here. Uh, we'll fill in a little bit along the side here so we can get some more space and more of a, uh, a run up. And we'll clear out some of this area here. We're going to place down half slabs and stained clay for the uh, jumps themselves. So yeah, I'll go ahead and clear out some sand here. And be back once this area is ready. Okay, everyone. So I cleared out a pretty big area here, put down some jack-o'-lanterns, uh, and now we're ready to start to build this. So the first sort of wall is going to be right here. It's going to be made out of jungle wood to keep with the theme of the speed tester. And the way we're going to do this, so we're going to have like a little wall here. So this first one will be uh, one block high horse jumps on this side and two block on this one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make the wall, I think, three tall. So just like this and that. Okay. And then we're going to sort of color code these. So the first jump will be sort of a green jump, an easy jump. And then we'll go to dark green, a little bit harder. And we want this to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, I think that's, is that half a block? Let's see. Nope, one more. Right there. So that's half a block, so that's the minimum jump height. And we'll do five, six. So that's um, one and six eighths, I think. No, one and five eighths right here. So you can see it is a little bit different. 70.625 and 70.5, so it's an eighth of a block higher. And then we'll do... Uh, some light blue. Light blue will go there. That will be seven eighths, and then it's dark blue. Whoops. Let's see. We need to pick here. Yeah, this light blue here will be the eight eighths, right there. And then, of course, we'll have two, um, two on the opposite side, I think. And so the twos will be a little bit different. So the twos will start here. So we'll have two. So let's just do that, two. And then two and one-eighth. Uh, let's see, we had light blue. Two and two-eighths. Three-eighths. And then, let's see. Two, one eighth, two eighth, three eighth, four eighth, uh, five eighths will be here. Six eighths. Let's see. Let's actually do this. Let's do this dark one here. Make sure no creepers are around. So two, one eighth, two eighth, three eighth, four eighth, uh, five eighth will be here. Six eighth. And then 7th, 8th will be the red. So you can see like the uh, the colors themselves. 
are going to be getting progressively darker and more intense. So just build that up like that. And of course these will be all too high with the snow on top. So that's how I'm planning to do it. Um, over here we'll have a wall here. Uh, we'll test out three on this side, four on this side, and then five on this side. So I think that should be pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off, get some more snow, fight off some zombies that wander in from time to time, and it should be good, yeah. Okay everyone, so we got the horse jump testing facility now done, and so let me sort of uh, walk you through it, each, each part of it. So this is the first segment here, this yellow segment. Uh, we have a jump test for uh, jump heights one and a half, all the way up to uh, one and seven eighths. And the reason I was sort of fumbling before with the uh, the exact height of the snow is because snow is really weird. So check this out. So if I put two blocks next to each other and put a snow layer on it, you'll see if we're on this first one here. Move over to the second one. Our height doesn't change. We're at 70 on both of these. Um, but if you put in on two uh, two snow layers. You'll see now you go up by an eighth of a block, even though, uh, yeah, you have two snow layers there. You put another snow layer down, you go up by another eighth of a block. So each snow layer um, after the first snow layer is equal to one eighth of a block. So if you put down eight, it's kind of strange how it works. You put down eight there and then put a full block there. They look to be exactly the same height, and visually they are. But if you get up here and actually take a look, at your Y coordinate, you'll see, boom, you're an eighth of a block lower, even though visually it looks exactly the same. So that's that's something that's kind of weird with these snow layers, and I actually uh, forgot about it initially, but I fixed it, uh, and yeah, everything is okay now. So here we have uh, one and a half to one and seven eighths blocks, even though that does look like a full block, it's actually not because you sink into the first snow layer on top here. And then we have um, two, so this is all two, level two to two and seven eighths at the end here. This one over here, starting with the orange uh, clay on the outside, is are all the three, uh, three to three and seven eighths, four to four and seven eighths here, and then five to five and seven eighths here on the red uh, outline here. So I went with like yellow, orange, and red, sort of to signify that, you know, the jumps are getting higher and more difficult, uh, sort of mirroring how we did the the clay uh, along each each individual segment here. So yeah, we also added a grandstand here, which is pretty nice. We can have some villagers in here, um, sort of like the uh, jump testing facility. Also added some coarse dirt, sort of spread out, so um, you can imagine like this used to be like a uh, uh, you know, a whole dirt and grass uh, section here, but the horses trampled it, and now it's just, you know, all scattered and things like that. So, let's go ahead and try this out. Um, let's... do I have any... I don't have any pearls. Dang it. I also need to eat something. Let me just eat something real quick. And we'll test it out here. So, we'll grab a horse. Also, I added some lights on this bridge, so it looks a little bit nicer. Got just another, uh, another brick fence and then glowstone. I might put trap doors in those glowstone lamps uh, later on. So let's see. This guy was at two block jump, so let's let's try and ride him out, out there. So come over here. See how we do. So let's see, let's, let's actually, let's just go right to the jump testing facility because I don't want to be blown up by a creeper or something. So let's see, so he was at two blocks, so let's make sure he can get two blocks still. Yep, indeed. Alright, let's go to two and seven eighths. Can't do that, so let's go to the middle one here. This one he cannot do. Go to the middle one here. He can do that one. So let's see, that's two, one-eighths, two-eighths. Zombie, come on now. 
these zombies get really annoying coming in from the, look at all these zombies coming in from the desert let me just get these guys out of the way here okay so let's go ahead and go back in and redo this now so we know it hit two and I think it did not hit this one if I'm just not if I'm not mistaken yeah so it can't get this one which is let's see one eighth two eight three eight four eighths so one half so let's try this one here it can do this one which is two eighths so let's see if we can get a good jump here come on now there we go nope so it can't do that one so it's two and two eighths is its jump height so it's a little bit higher than what we uh, initially found so yeah we can get a little bit more accurate view of uh, how high the horses themselves can jump and yeah again with the we have the speed tester too so we can figure out how fast they are sweet okay so let's put this guy back so let's close this and we'll switch this around so speed speed is eight meters per second jump height two and two eighths blocks two and two eighth blocks there we go okay fantastic so yeah now we got that built and we're running out of time this episode guys I wanted to try and keep the episodes to around 20 25 minutes or so I think that's ideal so the other stuff I mentioned we'll have to do next time and now it's time for us to go inside here we will grab a sign and we'll see who today's highlighted channel is okay down here in the new part of the mine shaft now and you can see I extended this a little bit further with the wood I still need some more diorite though had a little bit of a problem with it burning down uh, down especially near the uh, the end there but I fixed that so that shouldn't happen anymore hopefully fingers crossed and yeah so today's highlighted channel is Brandon Montes and last episode Brandon said uh, congratulations for 100,000 subscribers and I just wanted to say thank you a lot of you said that last time when we reached 100,000 um, yeah not too big on milestones myself but uh, yeah it is a, a kind of a big deal for me and yeah um, just want to say thank you all for supporting me and yeah continuing to like my videos and yeah hopefully uh, here's to the next hundred thousand and hopefully we don't burn in lava here so yeah thank you guys for all this continued support and Brandon this is your mind chef let's see how you do against the other competitors so unfortunately we didn't find any diamonds in Brandon's mine shaft today but we did get quite a bit of lapis lazuli so that's also very good and yeah I think uh, that's about it for me today guys once again thank you so so much for 100,000 subscribers I really do appreciate it also uh, coming up soon hopefully we'll see a 1.9 snapshot uh, this next Wednesday so that's February 4th also on February 4th there will be the ability to change your name um, let me know if you guys are going to do that. Uh, I, I don't think I'll do that for this account, but maybe on one of my other accounts I will I will do that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a free name change. If you guys are interested, I'll provide a link in the description to Mojang's website. Uh, like sort of detailing exactly how it all works. And what else? Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any ideas for the Dynamic Desert Village. Uh, next time we're going to do that spider. Uh, we're going to do the tanks that are going to shoot at the spider and we'll do the smart well next time um, so yeah a lot still to be done in this world and I'm looking forward to it so thank you so much for watching everyone this has been Cub Fan. goodbye